Let's get right to this breaking news that's happening right now. Two people were killed and also yet again another child has been shot only 12 years old. Let's get right out to Steve Keeley. Steve. Yeah, all of it happened between midnight and 3.30 this morning, and we're on Hoop Street here, uh, a small one-way street, and you'll see a corner house that's boarded up, uh, but neighbors even tell me that uh, they knew the couple that was living in there. They known them as squatters, and uh, that couple killed man and a woman. The woman killed instantly when police got here. She was pronounced dead on the scene, and then the man died later at the hospital just about an hour ago. They don't find the gun inside initially, but they just got their search warrant and just went inside the house. And we'll probably get an update eventually to see if they did find the gun stashed somewhere in a wall or something, unless the killer ran out with the gun. Others were in the house with them, and uh, they actually stayed around, that, which is a good sign and a rare sign. And police took them to homicide to see if they know anything and will tell them anything that they saw or heard. And there's other cameras on the street as well that'll let police know who was running out of the house if anybody did. Outside, interesting, they found live bullets, two of them, on the street and did not initially find any bullet shells around uh, this woman where she was obviously shot where she was found dead. So another two more added to the homicide total of this year that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and higher and higher. Meantime, over in Strawberry Mansion, 3400 block of Ridge Avenue, a main drag right behind Temple University's emergency room. A 12-year-old boy bleeding badly on steps of a house when police get there after neighbors there also call 911. And the boy initially tells police he doesn't know where he was shot or what happened, but they follow a blood trail and it looks like he was upstairs eating pizza and french fries with three other kids. No adults in the house at the time and uh, no gun found there either. Here is Inspector Scott Small with what police knew at the time. We found the 12 year old boy sitting on the front steps of a friend's property and then we saw blood on those front steps but also a blood trail leading up the steps inside to the third floor front bedroom and when police followed that trail of blood in order to clear the house and make sure there was no additional victims that's when we found an actual bullet the projectile on a bed and we found a live round in that bedroom also. And since we found the box with pizza and some french fries, it appears that this 12 year old may have been hanging out with other teenage juveniles, all under the age of 18. So uh, we talk about solutions to the gun epidemic. Police obviously can't be inside homes where these shootings and murders happened overnight. And uh, that 12 year old, coincidentally, uh, nowhere near uh, his own home, which is about six miles away on North 6th Street in the 5800 block. Um, and he was in there with his 15 year old brother and two 15 year old twin girls. So uh, you can ask the mom and dad uh, where they were at the time in both instances, whether the mom of the girls ended up rushing home from another home where she said she was with other children of hers. That's what police tell us. And uh, they have not reached at that time uh, the parents of this 12 year old boy and 15 year old who was with him at the time. So no adult supervision there after midnight inside a home six miles from the boy's home where he was found shot and saved by police by rushing him to the temple initially now recovering at St. Christopher's and hopefully police will get to the bottom of that and recover that gun before it's used to shoot another kid. Alex Cameron. It's just horrible when you think about how this is involving so many of our young people. Um, okay, thank you for that update, Steve.